<laughs> My name is Michael Harris and I go to the Irving Corps. I think it was my freshman year of high school. I was in a musical theater class and the teacher had us do a little solo performance every quarter. Um, you could either do like a song or a monologue. Uh, so for my first one, I chose to do a song. Um, I, I think I did like Master of the House or something. Um, and so I did like the, the private thing with him. So, cause he would have to play the piano for us. So I did it. And he was like, do it again. So I sang it for him again. And then he brought someone into the room. He was like, listen to this. And I sang it again. And I think I must have done that like five times, you know. And, you know, I think just that whole experience made me realize, like, okay, like, there might be something here, <laughs> you know. I would say my style is more of a fusion between like an operatic style and a musical theater style because I don't think I'm completely operatic. I do, you know, I tend to go toward those, the big voice and the, the big vibrato, um, but I think a lot of my stylistic things that I choose to do um, are derivative of musical theater style, you know, the big, the, the showy things, you know, the the straight time, you know, just all that stuff. So I'll, I would say it's a mix of those two. I think it was, you know, I, I did musicals and stuff in high school. Um, and when I came to Texas, I participated in the, the UIL stuff and the All-State Choir. And most of that for the audition music, they give you a lot of opera music. Um, and I, I, I never really enjoyed the way I sounded, but I liked how I sounded with that style. You know, it, I felt like that suited me, that strong vocal thing, you know, the big vibrato, the, the loud sound. You know, I enjoyed the way I sounded with it. So I think that's what caused me to move toward that style. This song, um, it was written by uh, Gloria, and it was, uh, the music was done by Godard. And the song is, Basically, it's talking about how the world is in so much turmoil and, you know, it seems hopeless, but God isn't, he's not giving up on us. You know, he gave us free will and he just has to watch how that free will, free will um, is playing out. And it makes him sad because all he wants is for us to turn to him, you know, to, to rely on him. Uh, but we keep turning our backs on him because we're so afraid. Here's the song. I hope you guys enjoy it. She's sitting by a window. A woman. A young woman. She's young, but she's already had too much of life. But not enough living. She forgot how to dream. So she just waits. But she doesn't even know what she's waiting for. Finds no one 
one to confide She's done even asking Done even asking why No one will tell No one will tell Someone walks toward her. The pain and the heaviness in her is so visible. She needs help. Someone must help her. Who will it be? Who will help her? Someone to point her to a savior. One who said, come to me and I will give you rest. Does she even know someone cares? Does she know that she is to die for? Will someone tell her?